What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, we're going to get into this video of the Big Bore Kit, the full review. We are going to go ahead and get into how I'm, what I'm currently running on my bike, uh, my current setup, what it's looking like, what I've changed, uh, how some of that stuff might actually end up helping you guys as well with making some of your guys' decisions and which direction you guys may want to go with the bike, uh, as well as some of the differences um, as to why I selected what I am doing. So let's get into it. <laughs> Hey, real quick shout out first to my cousin Kevin Hurd, Kevin Hurd Productions. He does all of the music and stuff that you guys hear in our videos. All right, uh, Kevin Hurd Music, go look him up. All the links are in the description. You can find him on Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Pandora. I mean, you name it, it's there, okay? Uh, go check him out. He's got an album also planned to be released, I do believe, here this summer. So go check him out. Uh, also, this video is going to be brought to you guys in part with Force Cam. Force Cam Brazil, all right guys, uh, for all of your 230F to 50F performance needs. Go check them out, anything from bore kits, piston cylinders, ported heads, uh, full ECUs. It is a plug and play, but you do have to do minor tuning. I've got videos on that too. Go check them out if you guys are interested. Uh, heavy duty clutch kits, straight from Honda as well. Um, they are actual Honda part numbered kits. They make a huge world of difference, y'all, as well as their own line of exhaust that they have teamed up with Bell Parts. It is not the standard Bell Parts that you guys will find online. I promise you that. This Bell Parts has been tested through a lot of their kits. You will only find it straight from their website and all the links are in the description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into some of the parts on my bike and we'll get into the, all the reviews and the nitty gritty of what y'all wanna hear most. First, diving into something I think everybody needs to have is one of these nice flatland skid plates. Man, this thing is a life changer. Of course, the elephant in the room of the Yoshimura, the RS2 full exhaust system. We've got the Tusk rear caliper guard, better than the flimsy OE. And jumping up to the front with some of our Scott grips, our Tusk deflex hand guards, and some Mika metals oversized one and one eighth. And of course, we have the anchor fork extenders here. We have the front tugger strap, as well as our rear tugger strap, paired up with this absolutely amazing Guts Racing seat cover. And with those anchor fork extenders, those are obviously needed with the fact that I am six foot one, need a little bit more height on the bike. Plus, we do also have the BBR heavy duty front fork springs. And we did have it paired up with the BBR rear spring, and we'll get into that here in just a minute. Now here you can see we are running an Emex T45, a 110 rear tire from Tusk. Here we're running our Corona fully adjustable rear linkage as well as our shock cleat slash shackle. And paired up with a 12 tooth front sprocket. We now are moving our way to the 51 tooth Renthal Ultralight Rear Sprocket. We're also running our kickstand adapter. This thing is pretty sweet. It gets the kickstand nice up out of the way just in case if you were ever having issues. Now we'll make our way on down to the oversized foot pegs, size 12 boots. These things make a difference. And as many of y'all know, if you've been following along with us here, we had also added the 275cc big bore kit from Force Cam, along with the Athlon fully tunable ECU, which has been a really hot item here lately. Uh, a lot of folks have actually purchased them. They're seeing some great results. Uh, there's a few folks that have also purchased some big bore kits. Um, we'll get into those details here as I give you guys the review in just a sec. A lot of these parts also that I've got on my bike too, just to kind of clear up a few things, is that I've done it to my personal liking uh, as far as the trails that I ride, where I'm currently located, and as well as some of the races and stuff and the scrambles that I do. So 
take that in mind when you guys are looking at modifying your bike, okay? I know that with the money and stuff that I have tied into this, that's gonna be another video. I keep saying that I promise it is coming out and I do promise you it is coming out. It's already in the works that I will give you guys the full breakdown and show you guys essentially the, the full list and the breakdown of what I've spent. So now that you guys kind of have a gist really of what I've got done to my bike, we'll go ahead and get into the big bore kit. All right, we'll kind of give the review here. I'm not gonna get too, too much into detail on what it did come with. You guys can also look up some of my other videos if you have missed it. Um, it is a three part, unless you count the 1.5, the 2.5 of my airs. It'll show you guys everything that it came with um, and pretty much the entire unboxing of it. So go check that out if you haven't already to see exactly what I got with my kit. All the links are in my description. If you guys want to order anything, I am gonna go ahead and mention it again. Drop the channel name to hook you guys up when you guys are ordering, all right? Express shipping. Hey, you cannot beat it. You guys will get those kits depending on where you're located, anywhere from a week and a half to maybe two and a half weeks from Brazil. You really can't beat that. But these guys, they sell everything as far as for the 230F and 250F, whether it be your bore kits, the cylinder replacement, pistons, camshafts, race camshaft versus the rally camshaft, the ECUs, Athlon ECUs, they also have their own line of full exhaust, the heavy duty clutch kit as well, Honda, genuine. Review time. Y'all know, man, I love this kit, okay? I have uh, I posted it out there. I've posted a few videos here and there. Um, not too, too much. Haven't gotten, you know, a whole bunch of footage and all, but uh, but we've got a race coming up here in T-minus, uh, let's see, three and a half weeks. Um, so, y'all, I love this kit. I will go ahead and tell you that as far as I can give experience myself on the 275 race, okay? The 275 with the race camshaft. Um, that thing has a lot of bite. It really does. Uh, the, as far as your RPM range, it was really spread out. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. Your low end, you still do have some grunt. You can tell with the race camshaft versus, you know, the rally, uh, the race really wants you just to get in there, get in those RPMs. You're sitting at real low RPM, say second gear and all. Oh yeah, no, it'll tractor over just about anything. You just give it, crack that throttle. It'll take a little bit to get up there, but as soon as you hit that mid RPM range, I mean, it's it's bolting. And it is all controllable power, y'all. It is just, it's so smooth and it hits. I mean, it barks. Uh, if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos, uh, go check those out as far as some of the riding stuff. Uh, we got some shorts up there too. Did a uh, drag sequence here with my buddy, Carrie, who has a stock 250F with just a, well, all he's got is a 48 rear sprocket. I couldn't grip at all on any of those launches. I think one section of the video, just going second, even into third gear, uh, I, think I was just wheeling the whole, the whole way. The kit's absolutely fabulous. Uh, jumping into a couple things that I've had questions on as far as uh, maintenance, okay? Maintenance on the kit. I have only checked my valve clearance just to make sure that everything was good to go, you know, shortly after I installed the kit, maybe after I had about 10 hours on it or so, just to double check, make sure, you know, I didn't make another error. Um, no, all was great. Your standard maintenance schedule, there's really nothing, um, you know, really extensive about it. I've got a habit of checking my valve clearance. Um, I'll end up doing it this year, uh, probably in the summer again, because I will have had probably about four races by then. And I kind of report back to you guys, let you guys know like, hey, after some real hard riding, so far it is just your basic maintenance. Some things to also keep in mind, tuning. That tuner is required, okay? You get a full kit, you do need that tuner, all right? Now, here's another thing with the tuner, the kit, the airbox mod guys there's a couple airbox mods you know out there you can do some for free you can buy a kit you know if you have an exhaust you get the tuner um that airbox cut the lid completely off of it okay open it up i've got the link in the description for exactly where to cut things like that it's pretty simple it's just your entire top of the lid everything get rid of it also take your screen out from behind that filter it does nothing but restrict you guys okay getting into also your sprockets. Running a 51 in the rear, a 12 up front. With the race camshaft, absolutely, 12 up front. Okay, with me just having that 51 in the rear, um, it, it eliminated, eliminated, excuse me, most of my first gear. Um, I really, I was cruising and very, very low speeds, RPM, everything in second gear most of the time. This kind of brought it back to where I could use first gear a little bit more, even with this race camshaft. 
Um, I could use it a lot more and I love it. It's got that bark, it's got that bite. Power gains, uh, somewhere a little over 30, uh, I believe is what it was uh, rated at, about 30, 30 to the wheels here on this thing. Um, if you guys have not checked out our live feed we did, or excuse me, our live recording that we did with Force Cam themselves, they were in the comments, uh, helping answer any questions that anybody had. Um, the numbers are, um, are also stated on there. I did call those back out for each kit and what your expected numbers and stuff are uh, for each one of those. So go check those out as well. So the last point that I'm really gonna get to on this kit, well, two points actually. Um, second to last is know your difference between your rally versus your race camshaft and what you're really looking to kind of get out of the kit. Uh, if you're wanting more of that 250R feeling, uh, the race camshaft is what you're gonna be looking for. And I'm not saying it's completely identical, you know, it makes them completely even. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you want more of a power hit like the 250R, um, that race camshaft is gonna be your thing. If you want more of a linear, broad, you know, drawn out power, but it's just, it's there. Uh, whenever you need it, that rally camshaft is gonna be, you know, what trucks you along in the trails or whatnot. Um, that's perfectly fine. So just make sure you guys, you know, kind of toy with, know your, your differences. Um, heck, if you want to end up giving them a shout, uh, like I said, links are in the description. Um, if you want to order one of both, test them out. If you got two 250Fs, place one on one, one on the other. I've been asked a lot about fuel consumption, okay? Uh, it really doesn't take any more fuel, any less fuel, um, anything like that with running this kit. It really doesn't. Um, after riding for, I would say six hours in a day, I maybe had dropped not even a quarter of a tank. Um, so fuel consumption, you guys are fine. Okay. And as far as your fuel type that you run with this kit and what should you run, whatever's available at your pump, <laughs> run that. Okay. You don't need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a barrel, you know, VP race fuels or anything. Um, nothing against them. I'm just saying you don't have to. Okay. You'll be fine with running 87. Um, whether it be ethanol free or with 10% ethanol or whatever's at your local station. All right, you guys will be fine with it. I am running 93 uh, pump gas, non-ethanol though, um, on mine. That's what my bike is tuned for. Um, I've made a couple tweaks and stuff with it. Um, I'm pretty happy and consistent with where it's, it's dialed in at. I've tried toying with a, a few other things. It made it a little bit worse. So I was like, yeah, hey, let's go back to what we originally, when I was dialing stuff in, let's go back down to there. And it's, it's been perfect ever since. Okay. My last point and final point y'all is take your time. All right. Take your time on this. Okay. Uh, you don't have to be a professional engine builder to do it. I'm not, all right? I make stupid mistakes, but I also showed you guys what my mistakes were. I don't hide it from you, but regardless, take y'all's time, okay? So that's about it for as far as the kit. Hey, and also guys, hey, don't let anybody tell you guys about as far as, you know, 250R, why didn't you just go buy one? 250RX, why didn't you go buy one? Um, or all your other options out there, okay? I love this bike. Uh, the money and stuff that I put into it, like I said, I've already told you guys earlier in the video, I'll post a breakdown on here for you guys. Um, and it, it'll probably shock a lot of you guys, uh, really. I'm gonna post what I've done, what I have also learned along the way, and where I could have saved money doing the same exact thing, seriously. Um, there, there's a lot of stuff and hidden information and links, stuff like that, and free stuff that I could have done along the way to get where I'm at now for a little, a lot less than the cost. Um, but it's still pretty mind-blowing, okay? Um, just just remember guys it, it's your bike all right i just love building them i like showing you guys it, not many people have stuff out here as far as for the 250fs uh, mostly not performance wise they don't um so hey that's why i'm here and uh, also push you guys out some race footage which speaking of we have uh upcoming race uh for gncc round five uh in monterey tennessee we will be there we are registered and then after that, the very next weekend, we have the U.S. Sprint Enduro up in Maryland, uh, Charlotte Hall. So we have that one, and that is also an ISDE qualifier. So we will be there racing that. Father's Day, um, I have got another race, which will be uh, the Warren uh, Winter Off-Road National. So we have got that one. Y'all, we are about to jump deep into some race series. You guys will see some footage and stuff, see what this bike is really capable of after you see the price tag, though, that's on this thing. Uh, regardless guys, just remember, Hey, your windshield is bigger than your rear view mirror. All right. Keep, keep pushing forward. Do what you want to do. 
take advice from people. That's fine. Take it with a grain of salt. Come to your own conclusions. Okay. Regardless, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. We will catch you guys on the very next round. If y'all got any questions, leave them in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Be a friend, tell a friend, spread the word, like, share, subscribe. I'm out of here.